Hello! So today I'm going to be showing you how to wire up a super easy internal Bluetooth setup. So there's a lot of really easy external Bluetooth options that'll be able to just plug right into your powered speaker and have Bluetooth that way. So stuff like this, this is a little battery powered external Bluetooth setup. Amazon also sells a pretty nifty little Bluetooth box. Bluetooth. And it's relatively cheap, uh, but again, it's external. You gotta have it outside. And it's, it's, it's better to have it in. And it's, it's also better to do it yourself. You wire it up, it's awesome. So if you happen to have seen my last video, I put out build plans for my Fawn speaker, which is my small little powered speaker. Um, you can find those here on my website. This is going to be a perfect uh, accessory to that build. So you'll be able to have plans for the powered speaker and then put this Bluetooth system inside that speaker. I'll also have plans for how this Bluetooth system fits together with all the components and all the wires you need and everything. Um, stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you how to get those. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down now. I'm gonna sit down. All right. All right, so here's the goods. We have our audio amp. This one's made by Dayton Audio. Uh, it's a T-amp, tri-path. It's a two channel, 15 watt per channel. Uh, plenty of power to, to power your powered speaker. It's a really good amp. It, it, it sounds really good. Um, I use it on most of my powered speaker builds. The best part about it is it comes in a little kit. And the kit comes with your volume pot with on off, connection for the volume pot, uh, a bunch of wires, um, capacitors for uh, protecting your speakers from uh, the digital amplifier. Uh, it, it comes with a lot of the stuff that you need to build uh, a powered amp. So it's great to just get it all, all in one box. We're gonna be using a 3.5 millimeter uh, audio cable. We have our AC power adapter. Uh, this is a 12 volt, two amp power adapter. And then of course our Bluetooth board. So the board is made by Shure. Uh, it's Bluetooth 4.0 and it sounds really good. It's made for Bluetooth audio, uh, which helps. Yeah, closer look at it. Yeah, it's a nice little thing. And it's 12 volts. Both our amp and our Bluetooth module are both run off 12 volts, which is important. We'll talk about that later. I'll also be using this power cable with a barrel connector on the end. Uh, that's gonna make uh, the setup a little easier. So what I'm doing today and what you should be doing if you're gonna be using this in a powered speaker build is just connecting everything, powering it up, and making sure it works. So what we're doing with that is making sure all the components work. We're also making sure all our wiring is correct. Um, it's really easy to you know put a wire in the wrong place and then it doesn't work. And if it's all soldered up, it's, it's much more difficult to problem shoot. So this cable is just gonna make it easier for us to connect the Bluetooth module to the power amp. Uh, but once you do this for real, you're probably gonna wanna solder the wires, power wires between the uh, Bluetooth module and the power amp. And those wires actually come in the amp kit, which is great because this can also run off of the 12 volt wall adapter as well as uh, a battery input. Um, and for a, like a portable rechargeable speaker, which is great. Okay, so a little uh, warning. If you don't know about the dangers of electricity, you should just pause this video right now, uh, click up in the search field, type in electricity safety, and uh, learn up. Uh, it can be dangerous when we're just putting it together before you plug in this guy, uh, it's not a big deal, but as soon as that guy uh, gets plugged into the wall and electricity goes through this, uh, it can be really dangerous. So don't want anyone to get hurt. Um, yeah, other than that, let's get started. So how it's going to work when you have it in your speaker is you would have something like this. This will be connected to the outside of your speaker, connecting to your Bluetooth board. Let's put it this way. So the power will be coming from your AC adapter into this into your Bluetooth board. Now your Bluetooth board and your uh, audio board are both run off of 12 volts. So you'll be able to chain them and run them off the same adapter. 
So the power goes into the Bluetooth board, out of the Bluetooth board, into the audio amp, and that's how both get powered. So your audio chain goes into the Bluetooth board through the air, out of the Bluetooth board through your 3.5 millimeter audio cable, into your audio board, out of your audio board, into the speaker. Now for the purposes of testing it, and since we're not gonna be soldering, we're gonna try to make this as easy as possible. So since this Bluetooth board has both uh, screw inputs for the power and a barrel input, we're gonna use the barrel for the in for the power and then these screws as an output for the audio board. And so that we don't have to solder wires, because normally you'd, you'd, you'd just use these wires to go from the power of the Bluetooth board into the battery input power of the audio board, we're just gonna use this power cable with a barrel end to go out of the Bluetooth board and into the, the barrel uh, power input of the audio board. So the first thing we're gonna do is wire up the power from the Bluetooth board into the audio amp board. Next, I'm gonna connect the volume pot to the audio board. Now, the audio cable from the Bluetooth board. Remember, that's the audio out into the audio in of the amp and then the audio out of the amp, which is on the side of the amp, right here. And I'm just gonna place these in those holes. I'm not gonna solder them because I want to be able to solder them up later and not have the mess of having solder already there. So I'm just gonna stick them in here and then just the gravity of having them in should hold them against the sides. And then the speaker. Pretty good? Okay. Now's the fun part. Let's test it. Here we go. All right, so we got an LED blinking on the Bluetooth module. That means we're getting power to that. I can hear the speaker crackle a little bit. So that means we're getting power to the audio amp. I think this might work. All right, so I'm gonna connect to the Bluetooth module. We'll see what happens. Do you guys listen to Stuff You Should Know, the podcast? I do. How radiation sickness works. All right, Let's see if this works. But for the most part, once you get higher and higher along the Sievert scale, yeah. it does become kind of absolute as far as human mortality is concerned. Yeah. All right. Success. All right, let's power it down. So obviously, if you were to wire this up into, say, my Fawn speaker build, uh, this isn't exactly how you would wire it. You need something like this, which is a power input uh, that goes on the outside of the speaker. That would be wired into the Bluetooth module, uh, and then the rest would be pretty much the same. So that wasn't too bad, right? 
it, it's really not all that difficult. It's a pretty simple uh, wire up job. Um, and using these compo components makes it real simple. Um, you know, since they're both 12 volts, uh, you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, voltage reductions, getting it down to, you know, something like five volts. Um, and you can just power it off the same, same uh, AC adapter. It's, this is the way to go. This is a good, this is a good uh, way to do it. Um, so I will have build plans on my website, salvageaudio.com. Um, head over there. Uh, they'll be up in the next few days. You can also click this link. I'm going to put a link up right here. And like I said before, if you downloaded my free Fawn plans, uh, if you were one of the lucky ones that got that, uh, this is a perfect add-on. Um, this will also be applicable to any speaker build you do. Uh, it's not just for the Fawn. Um, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, this is a little different than my normal videos. Um, this kind of step-by-step talking over thing. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> um, May, I'm just not used to it. I'm just not used to it. I, I, it's okay. Um, I, I want to make it better though. But if, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if, if the information helped you, give me a thumbs up. All right, my card just filled up, so uh, I had to delete some stuff. Hopefully this framing similar to what it was before. Okay, like I was saying, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit subscribe. Uh, I do build videos and audio tutorials. Uh, I, I build speakers and I and I post videos about building speakers. It's it's fun. You should check it out. Um, yeah, I hope this helps some people. And I'm gonna be putting this in a speaker real soon. New build video. I'm excited. All right. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, that was a shit show.